Hey everyone, it is around 9.15 p.m. at night, according to the Star Wars clock. Now, this is a time where everyone's asleep. As you can tell, I'm in my pajamas about to go to bed. My hair is halfway decent. And this is like the only time during the day I get to work on a YouTube channel, edit the videos, and also edit photos. Yesterday, Erica was a model and she helped me. She did an awesome job, by the way. She helped me review the Fujifilm xf 35 millimeter 1.4 and i wanted to uh, show you guys uh, like my secret and i haven't shown anybody this how i edit my photos now three years ago i discovered retouch for me ai plugins and it dramatically decreased my editing time from like 30 minutes to one portrait um, one photo to down to five minutes or less and people have wondered um, my editing style, like what um, programs do I use? But the secret is I've been using Retouch For Me plugins like all this time, and it gives me really good professional looking photos. Retouch For Me contacted me last week and they were like, hey, we like your YouTube channel. Please try our plugins, uh, see how you like it. And I'm like, I've been using you guys plugins for like three years. It's awesome, it's amazing. And they're like, cool. If you could uh, show how um, you use our plugins uh, to edit in your workflow, we can give your subscribers 20% off. I'm like, yes. So the promo code is Guam20. There is a link in the description below. And if you click on that, you'll get 20% off the plugins and you do get a small commission and it would really help the channel if you click on a link and purchase the plugins through that. And I'm gonna show you exactly how the plugins work and how exactly I edit my photos. And I think you guys would be pretty um, surprised on like a lot of work it does like for you. So let's get on the computer. This is actually the edited photo already from Erica. Now this is the before and after. And believe it or not, I did the edit before, after, in five minutes or less. Okay, so first photo, this is JPEG straight out of camera using the Kodachrome 64 film recipe. Usually I click on auto and let Lightroom do its thing. This is a little bit too much. So I'm gonna bring highlights back to zero, shadows back to zero, whites, blacks. I'm gonna take out the vibrance and saturation back to zero and we are good to go. I'm gonna right click on this and edit in Photoshop and then a copy of Lightroom adjustments. And by the way, I'm using the Mac Studio M1 Max base model. So you're gonna see how it performs on this machine. The monitor is the Apple Pro Display XDR 32 inch. So first thing right away, filter, retouch for me, heal. This is the first plugin I always use is heal. And it's loaded pretty quick. I'm going to zoom in a little bit on Erica's face. I'm going to click the original photo and after. Original and after. I'm going to click the sensitivity here just to show you the masking. And this is all the slight, slight imperfections that it takes off from the model skin. And Erica does have a beauty mark that I don't want to take out. So what I'm going to do is click on eraser. I'm going to click the right bracket and I'm going to bring the beating mark back and click apply. All right, so that's the first step. Second filter, retouch for me, dodge and burn. Now this actually kind of brings out the shadows a bit, lowers on the highlights. I'm going to click on the original photo so after, before, after, and let me click on the mask just so you can see what the plugin is doing. Now, usually this would take you like 20 to 30 minutes actually to do this dodge and burn. I like to make sure that the effect adds a little bit of warmth. So I usually have warmth at 50. Blending is really up to you. If you're bringing it up to 200, maybe too much you lose a 3D effect. 
and maybe I'll bring it to like 79. Okay, clicking apply. Now the last step before I usually do the last step, which is filter, retouch for me portrait volumes. I always go into liquify and a shortcut for that is shift command X. And it's, some, it's really up to you if you want to use a warp tool. A lot of photographers like to use a warp tool to maybe adjust arms, shoulders, neck, or even like face width, adjust the face width a little bit. So it's really up to you and your preference. I do very, very slight editing for a liquify tool. Press OK. And now we're going to go to retouch, retouch for me, portrait volumes. This one really brings the 2D image alive. Okay, so this is the original. See that? What it does is it kind of highlights the eyes, brings it out more, brings out the lips more, kind of changes it from two dimensional to three dimensional. And if it's too much for you, you can adjust the blend. And this is all the way up. This is like insane, but Sometimes I like to do around 40, 50, around there. For this picture, maybe 79. Click apply. And the last and final step, press J for spot healing. I'm just gonna take out anything distracting from the photo. Maybe upper right hand side, take that out. Maybe some hair in Erica's face a little bit. Take that out. Sometimes Photoshop has a hard time doing this just because I'm using a film recipe and there is grain. So it has to work around the grain as well. And I'm gonna leave some hair on here to be a little bit more dramatic. But yeah, basically we are done. So I'm going to do Command Shift S for save. Saving this as PSD and when we go into Lightroom you can see before after before after wow looks nice okay another example and then I'm, I'm actually gonna time myself later okay so we're opening this up in Photoshop remember first step Retouch for me hill. Now I'm going to click on the sensitivity just to see where it's healing. Okay, let's zoom in. I'm going to show you the difference. Before, after, before, after. This saves you like 20 minutes. Now I'm going to put back the beauty mark here. Press apply. Move a little bit faster now. Dodge and burn. And it saves the warmth where it had at 50 last time, blend 79. Uh, so yeah, we can see it's really working on the face here. Before, after, oh yeah, that's nice. Takes out the shadows in the face and even the arms. Even the arm here, nice. I may keep it at 79, looks good. Okay, Command Shift X going to liquify tool. And maybe bump this arm in a little bit. Very minor adjustments. Face width, maybe jawline. Again, very, very minor adjustments. Pressing OK. Portraits volume. So maybe you're like, oh wow. I mean, it's not even been maybe two or three minutes. And it's really, really looking nice. Okay, original. And this is a blend 79. Let me zoom into the face to show you what, what it's doing. Before, after, before, after. Yeah, keeping it at 79 looks good. There we go. Saving this as PSD. Replacing it. Oh, let me do a different file name. There we go. And so we have before after all that in five minutes or less really nice okay so let me see if i can get my phone 
I'm gonna time myself. Okay. I have my phone here. I have the timer. And, oh, stopwatch, stopwatch. Okay. Time, it's starting now. Again, I'm gonna do auto. Ooh, a little bit too much. Okay, taking out the vibrance. Right click, opening in Photoshop. Yes. Okay, filter. We touch for me hill. Not that much, very nice. I'm going to again bring back our beauty mark here. Press apply. Next, filter, retouch for me, dodge and burn. We're not even at a minute. We're here like 50 seconds. Okay, a little bit on her shoulders and her face. I'm just gonna keep it at maybe, let's, let's try 120. Okay, so zooming in. After, before, after, nice. Okay, and I don't think I need to liquefy anything here. Very good posing. Let's just jump straight to, or you know what? Let's just liquefy just because some of you may be saying, oh no, he's skipping that step. Okay, maybe just pushing the arm a bit. A little bit here in the side. Maybe just the neck a little bit, okay. Filter, retouch for me, portrait volumes. And the plugins are not that slow. Original. Hmm, interesting. So it's kind of like, wow. You see how it brings out her lips and eyes? Before, after, before, after. Okay, pressing apply. Saving it. Photoshop. And stop. Two minutes and 22 seconds. That's pretty good. And before, after, before, after. Okay, last photo. Let's do reset, start, auto. I don't know why Lightroom does it so over the top. Taking this out. Okay, right clicking, edit in Photoshop. Filter, heal. Okay. Nice, just to let you see before, after, before, after. Great job. Put back, there it goes, beauty mark here. Apply. Nice. Filter, dodge and burn. We have 50 seconds. Oh, this does great, even the background. So if you notice, this is kind of warm here because before, after, before, after. Yeah, so if you turn down this warmth, it'll go back to green. I do like to add a little bit of warmth, but the picture's warm already, so maybe just warm 16. I think the blend at 120, bring it back down to maybe around 100, 101, okay, apply. And let's go to liquify tool, warp tool, maybe push shoulder in a little bit. We can adjust the face width just a little bit. Jawline, I think that's good already. Pressing okay. Lastly, portrait volumes. There we go. And this is what really gives it a 3D look. Before, 
after, before, after. Wow, look at that. Before, after. I'll keep it 79. Straight increase it, yeah. Run 80 is good. And press J if you want to remove anything distracting. Maybe this line here. I think we're okay. We're pretty good. All right, we are done. Saving as Photoshop. Going back to Lightroom. Stopping two minutes and 40 seconds. Wow. And this is before and after. Okay, I'm gonna make this full screen. Before, after. I believe this is before, after, before, after, before, after. Really good. Wow. So I just edited in front of you guys like four photos. I don't know how long this video is going to be, maybe like 15 minutes. Usually this would take me about an hour and a half or two hours. Just the hill tool, doing some skin correction, dodge or burn, uh, just making the face, uh, the shadows like disappear a little bit and the portrait volumes, which kind of defines a face, like all these three plugins together. This is like my special weapon that I use just to uh, help me get the portraits done. And the clients are happy, models are happy. I'm happy because I get to save time. And this is such like, an awesome plugin that I didn't even want to tell anyone about it, but now I'm telling you guys about it. Uh, so if you have any questions about the plugin, uh, I can answer. I'll do the best of my ability to answer. Uh, now I'm feeling pretty tired. I think I'm going to edit a couple more and then it's already past 10 and maybe um, get some sleep. But thank you guys for watching and please click on the uh, special URL in the description and on the screen, I probably will give the link and the promo code just if you guys want to type it in uh instead of clicking on the the link in the description if you're just watching this like on tv thank you for watching guam photography if you haven't please subscribe mm -hmm.